All right then, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Alan Wake. Okay, hopefully I've got the microphone sorted out this time around. So, let's see, is there anything to do on this while we wait? Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman there. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. <laughs> sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hi. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying that. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ellen Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. Oh, I'm blushing. Pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be this week. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I hope. Yeah, no chance. Alright, I think that's enough posing. Let's see if we can't figure out what else we're supposed to do on this boat. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. That's oh. cute. <laughs> right. Yeah? Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. You know Yeesh. he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. <laughs> it's like psychic powers. Don't go around. Alan, we're that. here. Hello. Come on, let's get back to the car. Which car's ours? Am I going to drive? Ooh, cinematics. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Oh, I don't get the drive. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you, too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Uh-huh. I give it five minutes. I'd forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for... Mr. Wake. Alan, wake. Oh, God. Oh, I dear. I'm biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stuckey. Carl Stuckey? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Wow. And you keep it here. Well, okay. Good for you. Huh. Kind of looks like Tony Stark. Just don't blame me when you fall uh, in love. Right. It'll break your so heart much for when you have to Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. Yeah, that makes two of us. Uh, okay. Since he said restroom. Staying long, Mr. Wake? I can't believe it. I'm having a conversation with Alan Wake. Okay, go around the other way around. So I don't think somehow I'll be able to go through the. Um, uh, Are you on thing. your own, or is your wife with you? I can show you the tune. Do me a favor, Sonny. Oh boy. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut. Number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. 
bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> this is just getting weird. It does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. Please now tell me that's that... what I'm talking about. Yes. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> Give it a moment, mate. I've got a funny feeling. Oh, collectible thermoses. Uh... Mm -hmm. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find stuff to, to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Over eager fans always did. I was like talking to my gran. No offense, gran, if you're watching. Okay, let's see. We have the women's. Oh yeah, that's not ominous at all. Hello. Mr. Stucky? Uh, this is the power of screaming. Don't go in there. Oh, Carl hello. Couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Creepy. Okay, very, very creepy lady. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. This is the part where I run away. Or walk away. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Yep. Anyway, it can't get past that table, so I don't remember that if we ever run into it. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hernia. It swells up like a balloon if I lift it. The Andersons, they're uh local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh great, they're my neighbors. Perfect. Perfect. Bye, Mr. Wake. Bye bye, crazy waitress. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights, just in case. Oh yeah, we're gonna need those. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake! Your your keys! So wait, those aren't the keys. Oh, that diner was a real nut house. <laughs> yep. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Batman here on KBF I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Here's another one of my favorites to go. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while and see those stars winking down at you. Oh yeah, that's not ominous at all. Out here, but they'll light your way. Cabin in the middle of the lake. Yeah. Already, I'm getting that scary feeling. Already, I'm getting that creepy-ass feeling. Ooh. Diver's Isle. Wow. It's gorgeous, Alan. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. 
Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Got a missus with a fear of darkness. And what's gonna happen in here, ladies and gentlemen? Ooh. Although I am loving the texture work. Let's... I am loving the texture work of this and... Just the actual lighting for this. It's a couple years old game, but still... The level of detail on this, it is truly stunning. Bird leg cabin. You can even, if I can zoom, no, there's no zoom in here. That's about as far in as I can zoom, but wow. The detail on the wood itself is actually quite nice as well. The level of detail on here is stunning. So... Okay, that's obviously going to be a thing later on in the thing. It's dark in there. We need lights. Can you figure out how to get the power on, honey? Sure thing. I'm on it. Let's see. Where's that light switch? Or a fuse box? Right, there's the fireplace. A shoebox filled with books by Thomas Zane sat on the shelf. I'd never heard of him before. Hello? Anyone here? Let's see now. Nope. Uh, that's a barometer. That's a lamp. There's something in the ceiling, maybe? No. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to go upstairs, aren't I? Oh, coffee thermos. All the collectibles! Okay, and upstairs we go. Whew! Lovely. Remind me to shoot the decorator. The cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s, or even earlier. So I can actually shove my way through the doors. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's see. No. No, no. Wow. Okay. Let's try in this room. For a moment, the oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry. Oh! Whoa. Damn. Okay. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Hmm. Okay, let's see now. Has to be something around here. Let's try going back downstairs, shall we? Okay, so it's only the white doors we can barge our way through. Lovely. Ah. Hi, Pat. It's Rose. Why, hello, Rose. What's that looks to be it over there. I know who that famous artist was. It was Alan The power cable goes to that shed over there. Yep, just knows that myself. Okay, hello, what was that just there? The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Okay, let's get the power on, shall we? So we can get the missus back inside. So we can get the missus inside. An old generator had been connected to the power cable. Wow, when you say old... You can even see the rust. That is nice detail. I've got a funny feeling that's going to be a thing later on. Honey. All 
freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay, I'll look around a bit. Sure thing. Have fun. <laughs> Define fun. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Sun setting, and I think that's my cue to get back inside now. <laughs> as relaxing as this is, I'm getting a slight feeling that something's going to go horribly wrong very soon. Call me paranoid if you want. Alice? Honey? Maybe she's upstairs in the bedroom. Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Bow chicka wow wow. Trousers. Boots. Well, hello. Hello there. I'm not the surprise. It's in the study. Go take a look. Damn. Okay. Damn it. Oh. Surprise. Alice? What is this? Crazy I guess woman. I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Damn it, Alice, you everyone Hey, keeps... hey, hey, just hear me out. There's a local doctor, Dr. Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Hello. Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. God damn it. I knew she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. Oh. This is a bad idea. Alice? Alice? Oh, for the love of... Alice! The cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. Holy Jesus! What the hell? Alan, help me! Let me in, let me in, let me in. Here. I couldn't remember how I got there. All I knew was that something terrible had happened to Alice. The phone was dead. I'd have to find help on foot. Well, of course. Well, this is interesting. Oh, hello. I'm not going in without some supplies first. Among Alice's things was a book, The Creator's Dilemma. By a Dr. Emil Hartman. Seeing the book brought back my fight with Alice. I didn't like it. And I didn't like the guy's smug face on the cover either. Okay. And that sounds like a good time to catch a break. See you all in the next episode.